On August 4, 2020, a fire ignited at the Port of Beirut in a warehouse that stored ammonium nitrate and a stash of fireworks. A team of firefighters arrived to fight the fire. However, they quickly noted that something was wrong. The fire was too large and produced what they described as a crazy sound. The first explosion was triggered minutes later, with force equivalent to 2.5 tons of TNT. Seconds after, another explosion occurred, and this one was much, much larger. The blast sent a red-orange cloud into the air caused by nitrogen dioxide. The explosions resulted in the deaths of 218 people, 7,000 injuries, and $15 billion in property damage. The blast was so powerful that it physically shook the entire country of Lebanon and several parts of Europe. The explosion is considered one of the most powerful non-nuclear explosions in history. Unfortunately, there isn't much one can do to avoid a blast like this, especially one so unexpected. Still, your best chance for survival is to be as far away from the blast as possible and, at the first sign of danger, get away from any windows. And that's just the beginning of how big these explosions can get. Today, How to Survive is showing you the most dangerous explosions caught on camera and what you need to know to avoid them. Chernobyl is one of the most famous nuclear disasters in history, and to this day, it remains dangerous for unrestricted tourism due to the radioactive fallout. The meltdown and explosions destroyed the reactor building, which led to an open-air reactor core fire that lasted from April 26 to May 4, 1986. Radioactive containments were released across parts of the USSR and Europe. This incident, along with others, has led to the fear of nuclear meltdowns worldwide to this day. We're doomed! In the event of a nuclear meltdown, it's important to evacuate the immediate vicinity and stay out of the containment zones to reduce negative consequences on a person's health. On March 4, 2012, a series of blasts occurred in the capital of the Republic of Congo. The explosions were so strong they were felt for several miles across the Congo River. The blasts damaged roofs and windows. They created widespread panic in Brazzaville and Kinshasa, as citizens believed an armed conflict had begun. Over 300 people were killed in the explosion, with 2,500 injured. The damage also left 121,000 people homeless. If you find yourself near an explosion like this, it's essential to get indoors as soon as possible. A series of explosions in northern China in 2015 killed 173 people and injured hundreds of others. The first two explosions occurred 33 seconds apart. The second explosion was far larger and involved detonating about 800 tons of ammonium nitrate. Ammonium nitrate is a component of explosive mixtures used in mining, quarrying, and civil construction and accounts for 80% of explosives used in North America. The fires caused by the explosions burned throughout the weekend, which led to eight additional blasts on August 15th. An investigation concluded that an overheated container of dry nitrocellulose was the cause of the initial explosion. Tragically, of the 173 fatalities, 104 were firefighters. The explosions led to a large crater at the site of the blasts, and more than 8,000 new cars parked in lots nearby were burned. While it may not be possible to get out of range of an explosion of this magnitude, your chance of survival is higher if you keep away from the path of debris and keep your face to the ground. During the afternoon of March 7, 2021, four explosions were triggered at a military barracks in an Equatorial Guinea neighborhood. These explosions killed 107 people, and more than 600 others were injured. An accident of this magnitude is impossible to predict. But where possible, it's best to keep your distance from any military installations or any depot where explosives may be stored. The Tsar Bomba was a thermonuclear aerial bomb and the most powerful nuclear weapon ever created. Devised by the former Soviet Union, the bomb was described as a nuclear device with practically unlimited power. The bomb was flown to state test site number 6 of the USSR Ministry of Defense and detonated anonymously 4,000 meters above the ground. Even without the uranium, the flare of the explosion was visible more than 1,000 kilometers away in places like Norway, Greenland, and Alaska. The explosion's nuclear mushroom rose to a height of 67 kilometers, and the blast wave circled the globe three times. Survival tip. Even if you're not affected by the initial blast from a nuclear bomb, get as far away as you can. 
the nuclear fallout from a bomb like this can quickly kill you after the fact. On October 7, 2017, a petrol tanker at Atomic Junction in Ghana caught fire. The fire resulted in an explosion at the site of a liquefied natural gas station. The fire spread toward a cooking gas depot next door, and as a result, at least seven people died and 192 more were injured. The total cost of property destroyed is estimated to be over $120,000. Trinity was the famous first nuclear weapon detonation conducted by the United States Army as part of the Manhattan Project. The explosion is infamous and has been featured in media since its detonation. This was a turning point in history, as it showed everyone how deadly these nukes can be. On the morning of December 6, 1917, the SS Mont Blanc, arriving late, collided with the SS Emo near Halifax, Nova Scotia. The Mont Blanc was carrying a plethora of high explosives, and as a result, caught fire and exploded, destroying a large part of the city. Nearly 1,800 people were killed, and an estimated 9,000 others were injured. Almost every structure in an 800-meter radius was completely destroyed, and a pressure wave snapped trees, bent iron rails, demolished buildings, grounded vessels, and scattered fragments of the ship for miles. And if that wasn't bad enough, a tsunami created by the blast eliminated the community of Mi'kmaq First Nation who had lived nearby. The blast was felt in Cape Breton, over 200 kilometers away, and created a cloud of white smoke that rose to at least 3,600 meters. People ran toward the smoke when they saw it. If you're trying to survive, this is the last place anyone should go in an event like this. If you see smoke, there's fire. And if there's fire, that's a place you should not be. The N1 launch explosion occurred on July 3, 1969, in the USSR. The N1 was a super heavy lift launch vehicle that was intended to deliver payloads beyond low Earth orbit. However, the flight of the N1 vehicle was brief. After a flash of light, debris from the vehicle could be seen falling from it. The engines immediately shut down, with the exception of one, which led to it leaning at a 45 degree angle and dropping back onto the launch pad and damaging the pad so badly it took 18 months to rebuild. The 2,300 tons of propellant on board caused a blast and shockwave so large it was able to shatter windows across the launch complex and sent debris flying as far as 10 kilometers. Unburned fuel was still raining down from the sky after the event for more than half an hour afterward. The explosion was visible from 35 kilometers away. Space launch accidents have been a tragic occurrence, and it's important, as always, to stay away from the windows when an accident occurs and stay indoors to avoid any debris. Explosions are impressive, but there's much more to surviving a nuclear explosion than just staying away from windows. What should you do to survive a nuclear blast? Find out next time on How to Survive.